Hello lovely people, it is day 17. I checked that what day it was before I started this. Oh, I've just noticed I haven't got my rings on today. What's going on there? Look at my nails, they have grown out so badly. I normally have them done every other week, but she couldn't fit me in. So it was going to be three weeks this time and I was kind of saying to her that the likelihood of them still being on is very minimal. Look at that, one of them has broken really far down. Can you see that there, look? Oh, I'm hoping she can do something with that. Um, but yeah, getting my nails done is my little treat to myself every other week. So I'm not even going to apologise for it. Why not? I like to have nice nails. It always makes me feel polished. <laughs> Excuse the pun. It makes me feel polished when I've got my polish on. Anyway, digressed already. It's just a stay at home day today other than going and having my nails done. I need to just go get a few bits. I need to go to the pharmacy because husband is, um, yeah, not feeling too great, bless him. He went to bed mega early last night before the kids even did. Um, and he said, I'm going to take myself off into the spare room, love. So we had the last of the night nurse that we had. Night nurse, literally miracle stuff. And he slept for a straight 11 hours, bless him. Kids went to bed. Um, we did manage to watch the Polar Express, so we ended up watching the Polar Express beforehand. Now, I'm going to digress again, but anyway, let's have a chat. Um, Ollie, Jack will watch movies till they come out of his ears. He's like his mum and his dad. But Oliver is just not bothered. He's not bothered about going to the cinema. He's not bothered about watching movies. But anyway, we managed to get him to sit down to watch Home Alone last week. And then he asked to watch the Polar Express because they'd started watching it at school this week. So we were like, yes, absolutely. So we ended up having to buy it because we didn't, even though we've got... Well, we've got everything other than Apple TV, I think. We haven't got Sky Movies either, to be fair. But we've got Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney. We couldn't find any Polar Express, so we ended up having to buy it. It was only a fiver, but that's besides the point. Um, and then we all sat down and watched it. It was really lovely. We got all the sweets out, all the treats. We had popcorn and stuff. It was just lovely. But, and he watched the whole of Polar Express as well. So we kind of said to him, while he was like in a good mood, so do you think you might want to go to the cinema soon? And he was like, yeah. And we were like, yes. It's man and Steve's dream for both our children to want to go to the cinema with us <laughs> so we can go all the time. Because otherwise one of us has to go off, one of us has to look after the other one, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we're super excited that he might be getting into movies now. Yes. But yeah, so he went off to bed early. I'm going to go out, I'm going to get some day nurse and some night nurse for him. He's a little bit better today, but he looks dreadful. And he has this weird eye. <laughs> when he has a cold, he has an eye that goes like this. <laughs> And it's all red and blotchy and horrible. And it's waters all the time. He has to dab it. Random. <laughs> sure you really want to know that. But that's the only thing that I'm doing today, other than jobs around the house. So me and the husband have said we want to just try and tackle everything that we need to get done today so that tomorrow we can have a nice chill out day. We were hoping potentially tomorrow night to book tickets to go and take the kids to like a light scene thing at Temple Newsom. Um, but we're just not sure because of how Steve's feeling at the minute and there might not be any tickets left anyway so we're going to have a look at that because we did it last year and although it's expensive for a short space of time we do want to do something Christmassy with the boys and um, Steve's grant has given us all a little bit of money for Christmas so he said we want to spend it on doing something together so I think we might do that if he's feeling up to it but anyway I've been you know making him lemon sips and stuff like that, getting cups of uh, peppermint tea and things because I'm a good wife <laughs> you might not say that but anyway let's do let's do oh it's so light it's just so light <laughs> and it's right on the top because there's only a few things left number 17 ribbon I'm going for ribbon how much can I rustle that get it open i'm laughing as well because i've just been on instagram and jess from so what if i say we'd put something on her stories about one of my one of the lines i apparently said in the tutorial yesterday apparently i said sing to yourself while i'm doing this don't remember that don't even know what i'm saying oh it is oh and it's lovely christmassy ribbon look red with white polka dot good thing about that though is i know it's red but you could actually use that any time of the year couldn't you that's gonna go i'm looking over there again because i've got like a little ribbon stash over there that i've got on my um, Ikea pegboard so I'm going to pop that on there with the grey one that they got as well if I don't end up using that for some Christmas presents mm, we shall see right being the pink dildo 
loved Andrew's, I was watching Andrew's vlog last night as well, and she's thinking about doing a Q&A on Sunday. <laughs> I sent her a couple of questions. She's probably regretting it completely now. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to Sunday. Right, number 17. So much to put moustaches. Bobbins? Dunno. Have a go. Oh, oh no, it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> Did you see my face? I'm gonna have to watch that back. Ooh. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was a hump jumper. Where's my hump jumper? You know, I've been talking to people and they were like, what is this magical device? You know, to stop your fabric film getting squished into your machine. I thought it was one of them and I was like, good, because I could always do with another one. But it isn't, it's actually clear elastic, but look at this. It's really like narrow, it's nine millimetres, perfect for swimwear and baby wear. Is that so, you know, like you put it on the top of here and it stops it stops you flashing when you make a swimsuit, you know, like if you've got a strapless one. I don't know. Ooh, good for the stash though. And also I always think um, clear elastic is quite good, you know, for when you're doing, wanting to strengthen your seams, your shoulder seams, although I'm really naughty and I normally skip that part. I know I shouldn't, but... <laughs> I like to be a rebel. Right, that's good in my stash as well. Mm, nice little presents today. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to try and wrap the very last few of our Christmas presents so that I'm done. I need to get my secret Santa ready because we've got our Christmas party next week. That is one thing I did need to say. So next week on the Wednesday, we're staying overnight for our Christmas party. So I won't be uploading on Wednesday, but I'll try and still vlog a bit of it. And then I'll upload both days on the Thursday. That's the plan for now anyway. No point in me saying I'm going to, because I'll have had too many Proseccos. And uh, you won't want to see what I edit. <laughs> see, I'm going to wrap loads of presents today. I need to pop out and get my nails done. I need to pop and get some stuff for the husband to make him feel better and I also I have a Christmas shop that's booked for next Wednesday so I need to work out what I need on that shop as well and then I want to sort my secret centre out my last little bits for Tamlin and Rachel turn up so I want to parcel them up although we're not giving each other our little Christmas presents until we see each other at January so tune now anyway just because the postal thing is just bonkers isn't it um so yeah oh and the other thing i wanted to say is thank you so much to everybody who has bought me a coffee on my coffee account thank you very much i really really do appreciate it some of you are very generous i know it's really hard at the moment because of the um cost of living crisis and christmas when you're buying things for other people so i don't expect it at all but it's very kind of you to go and buy me a coffee and quite a few of you have done that and i really really do appreciate it i do always say thank you to everybody on my Kofi account but I just wanted to say it on here as well. Thank you so much for buying me a coffee. I might not have a coffee though. I might have a nice hot chocolate with a little bit of Bailey's in it. <laughs> That's more like my kind of coffee. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say thank you. So thank you very much to everybody who's watched any of my vlogs, who's liked any of my vlogs, who's commented on any of my vlogs and who's bought me a coffee. You have made my month of December. So anyway, I'm getting a bit gushy for this morning. <laughs> What's going on? Not even had a tipple. I'll try and catch up with you a bit later. Bye. Right, I've been and had my nails done. You'll be able to hear my tumble dry in the background, I'm very sorry. So they're feeling a lot better than they did. I've gone bright red glitter. I mean, if you can't do it at Christmas, when can you? Uh, I've just come home. I've been going everywhere trying to find night nurse and day nurse for my husband, but we can't get any anywhere. So I'm gonna go nick some for my mum. I've just been wrapping presents. Look at the state of this. <laughs> oh, look at the background. Oh my Lord. Can you notice the evidence here, look? We've had a new McDonald's built round the corner. We had to have one. It was like the done thing. So yes, yeah, so and now I am wrapping presents, trying to finish everything off. I've only got, I think, one gift left to get. Um, but I'm gonna go upstairs now and hem my mum's Jarrett sweater so that I can wrap it up now and get that done. But my mum just rung me and said, um, it's strictly final tonight. Shall I put a bottle of fizz in the fridge? Do you want to come round and watch it with me? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So I've spoken to husband and he says he's absolutely fine to look after the kids. So that's what I'm... No, I'm vlogging, dude. Oh, chat's like that, you on phone? No, vlogging. 
No, I'm not on the phone. Why are you talking really Yorkshire? Just because I'm on, I'm, just because I'm doing this. Proper Yorkshire. Uh, my children have been in their pajamas as well, and they're dressing the gown all day. Are you coming? The water, the water in my jolt. Yeah. Water. <laughs> oh, nut job. Anyway, so I'm going around there for a bottle of fizz to watch. I did call you a nut job, but that's quite correct, and I think you'll agree. Yeah. So, right, be quiet now. Shh. Oh no, that's it. He's in. He's in troublemaker mode. I can feel it. I'm off to mums in a bit anyway, but I'm going to go do a jarra now, and uh, I'll catch up with you in a minute. Hello, hello. Lighting's shocking in here. Like I say, I don't put my serious readers' light straight on me though, because I'll be blinded. Um, I have just done my mum's jarra, so it's finished. Yes. The only things I've got left to do from a Christmas present point of view is put elastic in the boys' pyjamas. But that's just for a little gift on Christmas Eve, so I can do that any time. So I'm cool with that. So I've got approximately an hour before I need to go to my mum's, so I'm thinking, do I try and get a bit of my Zadie done? What do we think? I'm just, I'm going to do it. The boys are downstairs watching a movie with their dad. They've just started it. They wanted to know if I wanted to come. And I said, I can't because I'm leaving halfway through anyway. So they're all snuggled up downstairs watching a movie. So I've got, I reckon, 50 minutes before I need to leave. I'm going to do it. I'll take you with me as well. That's what I'll do. Okay, so I've done that. That was so funny though. I did literally everything wrong. So I hadn't even threaded up my machine. Um, I then pinned it all the wrong way round. So the pins were facing the wrong way. I hadn't marked one of my um, markers. Um, yeah, and then I started trying to attach basically the top of the bodice to the bottoms. <laughs> it's because you all were watching me, I'm telling you. It's like when I'm at work. And my colleague, Kelly, she can type like a maniac. She's so fast. She pushes me over a little bit when she's typing so fast. I'm like, Kelly, I can't cope. You're making me anxious. Because she's so good at it. She used to do, you know, do that copy typing, whatever it's called. And um, anyway, if I go anywhere near her desk while she's typing and I'm watching her, it's like she's typing with the back of her fingers. <laughs> she's like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And she makes so many mistakes. That's how I felt. You were watching me. But anyway... I have attached my body. So the legs are now together. They're attached. I've got my legs attached. And then now I've popped my bodice on as well. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. And what I was trying to do, you might have seen, I was I was taking quite a bit of time, actually, because I was really, I've got a few loose threads and I need to just cut off. I was really trying to attempt to get my pleats. There's a pleat on the top on the bodice and there's a pleat on the trousers and I was trying to make sure that everything I don't know if you can see that pleat there the top and the bottom were matching but obviously this is a very light viscose so when I cut it out like I said to you before it was almost like I couldn't see um so I'm really pleased with the outcome of this that one's just like a millimeter off but I can live with that and then the ones at the back yeah they're looking pretty good as well so I'm really happy with that because I thought that they might be. Oof, that other one at the back's perfect. Look at that. Hello. I uh, yeah, I thought that they might be a little bit out. Not that it really matters because you kind of put wrap the belt part around there, but so here we have it. So I'm hoping tomorrow, I've not really got much plans tomorrow either, um, is that I'll be able to do the binding tomorrow. Now, that would be good because after the binding, all it is is hemming, really. So I'm going to try my spray starch tomorrow, so I'll take you with me. But for now, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and sip fizz with my mother and watching Strictly. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.